All right, guys, welcome to Heyo. My name is David, and my only job here is to help you publish your apps as easily as possible. So my goal with this video is to make it short, simple, but provide you tons of info to start to, to get started right away. So I'm gonna start by naming my business. You most likely have already done this step. And then I'm gonna start with social because I wanna build an app for Facebook. So I'm gonna click add a business, and I'll be dropped straight into the editor. Now, I've already started this account, but when you start, you'll see this tutorial pop up. I highly recommend um, reading the tips and watching the animations. They will help you out with each step in the editor. Um, so uh, get through those, and you'll click Start Creating Now, and you'll be on your way. So let's start with the contest. Oh, oh, and if you ever want to access the tutorial, simply go to the top right, click on the gear, and then click Tutorial, and it'll pop right up. All right, so uh, let's start with the premium templates. So we've built uh, some premium templates, which basically are some in, uh, they were designed in-house and have some pre-built functionality um, that we absolutely love. So I'm gonna start with this contest template. The idea here is to, to really help you run a contest and incentivize uh, virality. So you can see there's a contest countdown to kind of create a sense of urgency and let people know when the deadline is. There's a spot to collect emails and then incentivizing a like and a share and a tweet. Um, this is a great way to build virality through uh, Facebook. As, and you see on the bottom, you have a, a little area to add a description. You also have a couple image options. So up top on the left, you'll see a place to um, put your logo. Simply click to change that. Simply click on that. You'll see an upload button in the top right. I'm going to grab my own logo and upload that here. Beautiful. And to change the prize image, simply click on that and uh, do the same process. Click upload and find the image you'd like. So we also have a group deal template. So the idea behind the group deal template is pretty cool. So say you want to do a real crazy promotion, a special, maybe something you don't do typically, but you want to gauge interest or just at least rest assured that there's enough interest in this product or in this special. So the group deal uh, allows you to specify a certain amount of entries needed to unlock the deal. It's got a counter of how many entries have already been submitted. And the idea is it gets all of your Facebook fans to share this app with their friends in order to unlock the deal. Um, so that's love that one and then we also have a sales template and the idea with the sales template is really help turn your uh, Facebook fans into customers so this is a real easy way to showcase a product with uh, multiple images you can add a product description if you have some fine print or some details people need to know about there's a countdown which uh, does a great job with um, the sense you know providing that sense of urgency but also it's great for if you want to do things like a flash sale like 24 hours only six hours only uh, it's a great template for that and that buy now button that's where that's the money maker right there um, so those are our premium templates but maybe you are more of the lone wolf kind you want to do it on your own um, we have these layout based templates you can use as well so think of this as like newspaper formatting it's it's pretty it's pretty bare but the idea is to give you a visual idea of where to, to put things so you'll see like a big video up top some text on the bottom uh, one of these has multiple like it's a grid layout for pictures a sidebar layout so uh, if you like what you see grab one of these apply it and you can always move all of the pieces around however you'd like but I'm going to start with a blank template to kind of uh, give you an idea of, of some more functionality that Heyo has. So I'm going to click Save and Continue and move to the Design step. Now in the Design step, this is where I really get to customize, do some cool customization to my background. Um, so I can do textures and colors. I kind of like this graph. Now I'm going to try this linen. I like this linen. It's kind of Apple-esque. Um, so I'll grab the linen. I can change the background color. So maybe I want to make it like a, a light blue style linen. I like that. And if you want a background image, simply upload that here as well. So I'm going to click Save and Continue and move to the Edit step. Now in the Edit step, this is really where full functionality is unlocked. Uh, you'll see in the top bar there's a bunch of widgets. Now these widgets are tools to help you build custom content. So say you want a picture on the page. So grab the images widget, drag it onto the page, and you'll see the box on the right hand side to say upload. So click that, and so maybe I have like a new regulator and buoyancy compensator for sale. Look at that, it pulls in the picture beautifully. 
right from my computer. I can move it around anywhere on the canvas. I can also resize it if I'd like. And if you want to add text, it is just as easy. Drag and drop the uh, text widget onto the page. Line. And it updates in real time as you type in what you'd like. And you have full functionality to edit the text however you'd like. So let's make it Helvetica. Love Helvetica. Make it pretty big. Now you'll notice that this, this headline is broken up onto two lines. If you would like to get that on one line, just make the, uh, the box a little bit wider and boom, there you go. I'll center that bad boy. All right. I'd also like to draw your attention to the iframe widget. So say you already have a website and you want to get it on Facebook or you already have a products page where you're selling things through and uh, you don't want to do any extra work to get it on Facebook. Well, we hear you. Just drag and drop the iframe widget onto your page and you can enter any URL on the internet. Seriously, any URL. So I'll do a Google search for dive shop. Grab the first result that comes up. Boom. So I'm going to copy that URL. Then I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to paste it in the, the iframe URL box. When I hit save changes, boom, it pulls in the website right into the editor. This is awesome. Now, this page uh, fits very well inside the 810 pixel width uh, that Facebook requires or allows you to do for apps. But chances are your website may be uh, much wider than that. So in order to get that to fit, simply click on the, the iframe and you'll see the zoom iframe option on the right hand side. So turn that on and you can specify your, the source page width and the height. So I'm going to guess about 960 pixels wide on the width and for the height um, I'm going to say like 2000 um, and hit save changes. Boom. Well, that looks pretty nice. You get full width in here. Yep, that looks good. And you can just keep pulling it down the page until I reach that uh, height that I specified. Um, but say you do, you're not necessarily sure what width your page act, or your uh, website actually is, no worries. Just kind of play around with some numbers in the iframe, and you'll notice uh, it starts to look it'll start to look real good once you get it close to uh, the actual width of your original page. Um, but if you don't like it, simply just click the X in the top. Uh, the top right and you can do that with all widgets just click the X in the top right so say you've made your page you love the way it looks um, you're ready to move on so we'll hit save and continue and we'll move to the preview step so I've already signed in with Facebook but what would happen is it'll in this step it'll ask you to sign in with Facebook so that we can re, um, see which page you would actually like to install this app to so I'm gonna select Dave's dive shop and you'll see my fan page populates in the top right. And then underneath, I have the option to enter a tab title. So I'm going to call this um, New Products Fall 2013. All right. And then I also have the option to upload a tab thumbnail. Now, this thumbnail is what shows underneath your cover photo on your fan page. Um, so Facebook wants a 111 by 74 pixel image. So I highly recommend uh, pre-designing your tab image using, a, um, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use a free online service called Pixlr, that's P-I-X-L-R.com, and uh, it allows you to, it's, it's an online Photoshop for free, it's pretty awesome. But uh, if, you, if you have an image that's slightly bigger or slightly smaller, our software is great at resizing it, um, but if you want to keep your dimensions, highly recommend pre-designing a 111 by 74 uh, pixel image. So. I got my thumbnail, I got my tab title, my got connected my fan page, I am ready to publish. So I'll click save and publish. Boom, high five, my campaign is live, hooray. All right, so if you'd like to view your campaign, like I'm sure you will, simply click view campaign and you'll see there is my page, just like I saw it in the editor, awesome. Um, now, also, driving traffic to your app is also very important. So we have these two buttons, share on Facebook and tweet on Twitter. Use those buttons to draw traffic to your tab. Uh, those are great. And then if you'd like to create another campaign, simply click the Launch More Campaigns button. And then one last thing to note, so say you've made this app, you absolutely love it, and you want to use it time and time again, or maybe um, you have a bunch of fan pages and you want to make one app but put them on all your fan pages. Well, we hear you. So it's really simple to do that. You just gotta go back to the template step, 
And you'll see on the right hand side the save template option. You'll see the note save current layout as a new template. I'm just going to press the save button and I'll see the success message. Your custom theme has been saved. Now all I have to do is go to my save templates and um, in the, still in the template step and you'll see my save template populate. I just click apply and it is there for use whenever I want it. Alright guys, well hope this was helpful, hope this was informative, and this is David. I will talk to you later.